Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and let's take a look at some of the keyboard shortcuts that we can use in the Unity engine which really help our game development and quicken things rather than going through many menus or selecting different tools. So let's say we are in the scene view, right here. We can use the arrow keys to move our scene around quickly and easily. As you would expect, the up key will zoom in to whatever position we're looking at, the down key will zoom out from whatever position we are, left would take us left, and right would take us right. Arrow keys, they are absolutely essential in the scene view. The next handy one that we can take a look at is the F key. Let's zoom all the way out, and let's have this cube selected. Now let's press the F key. We'll be able to focus on whatever object we have selected. So if we have the camera selected here, press F, we'll be able to center on that. Back to our cube. Now another way of looking at this is going to the hierarchy. So if we have this selected, and let's imagine there are many, many more objects within the hierarchy right here, we can also press F and it will highlight yellow whatever object we currently have selected. It's just a handy little tool that we can use when we really get into deep development and we have a lot of objects within the scene. So another handy one to use is recreating this object or duplicating. And we can do that by making sure we have the object selected right here and then hold control and press D and this will literally create a duplicate of that object and it makes things a lot easier in the long run because rather than use the control C control V which you can do in unity control C control V you can see we've created a duplicate that way however it is much more easier to use the control D function to duplicate any object and you can go on and on and on with this Another one, obviously, but I'm going to cover it anyway, is delete. Get rid of an object. What more can I say? Now, a handy little shortcut that people don't realize is actually in Unity, rather than have to go to our menus to get an empty game object, we can always hold down Control, hold down Shift, and press N. And that will create an empty game object. And empty game objects can be used for absolutely anything. Some more handy keyboard shortcuts that we can get to grips with are all these tools here. If we were to hold uh, press Q, we can get the hand tool, so we can pan around, nice and easy. Press W, we get the move, and we can do whatever we want. Next, if we press E, you can see where this is going. We've got the rotate, so we can rotate an object and whatever else we need to, as long as it's selected. And next, we have the R, which is, yep, scale the next one along as you would expect and the last one that i'm actually going to deal with at this point is the rec tool and we can press t to do that now there is a different tutorial where we can explore what these are all for however these are just the keyboard shortcuts that you're most likely to use there are many many more but these are the ones you'll use more than anything else when developing in unity so guys, I hope that's helped you and I hope you've got your fingers on your keyboard in these positions ready for all those shortcuts. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with all the content that I have on my channel. And guys, thank you very much for watching.